bar was named Icarus and met its end fittingly. I didn't have time to savor the irony. An impossible chance to get Kovalev has just fallen out from the sky into my very lap. Or at least my very neighborhood. James, are you hearing this? Fire department on site. Ambulance is in 13 minutes. Secure the area. Do not go inside. I say again, do not go inside. Sounds like good advice. to orders? Yes, I am.
seems they didn't wait for the gravity to do the killing. Swell. I prefer to interrogate corpses. Their deaths tell me more than their lies would. James, evacuate whoever you can and get the fuck out of there. Little late for that. See for yourself. Oh shit. What the fuck? Good question. Help me identify Kovalev. I bet his corpse will open right up if we ask it all nice-like. Pictures. How about this one? That's not him either. Kovalev is fatter. How about this unicorn guy? Seriously? No, it's not him. <laughs> Close. Quit fucking around. Shit. I can't find it. Moving on to reconstruction. James, we don't have time. Sarah, I'm going to find out what happened here full stop. Understand? <sighs> okay. Sure. sure everyone here can afford new bodies. Fuck them.
What's this? Same as green. I wonder what's inside. James, don't even think... We have to reconstruct the lock. back so it'll go so we don't know what caused the explosion not yet james if kovalev finds out this whole place is about to fall apart and take kovalev's secrets with it i'm not about to let that bastard get away from me again hey if you fall i'll say you acted alone i'm fucking serious fine let's get to work what do you think Special, skewered asshole. Get it? Get what? He was impaled. Get it? that much force? I didn't stand a chance. These shards came from someplace else. finally hit the neon sign. <clears throat> the ads in the city are deadly effective. Ugh, James, I'm begging you. He's got something on his neck. Check it out for me, would you? It's, huh, one of ours? Agent from the department. How the fuck did he get in here? Jealous? Yeah, a little. came from this side, bleeding heavily. The marks will be visible under UV. Thanks, detective. What do you make of this wound? Adrenaline's a hell of a drug.
The blood trail leads all the way to the lounges. It must have come from there. Guy. He kept us cool. For all the good it did him. Let's see where he jumped from. Fucked up. Is this more of the undercover's blood? Nah, he would have bled out. Must belong to the guy next door. Check the DNA for me. No data available. Shit. That's gotta be some big fish. I'll take photos. We'll identify him later. Nailed him right through the head. Could be. Or maybe somebody's initials. Someone shot through the suitcase lock. I'll check for ballistic trajectories. The side of the bar erupted in a hail of hot lead. Turn the lounges into Swiss cheese. Into what? People used to talk like that. I heard in some movie. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. You're a movie buff. They sat there in the lounge, all cloak and dagger and hushed tones, until the spray of bullets caught them flat-footed. He managed to scram. Agile body, fast reaction time. Grade B, maybe even A. Where did he get the money for that?
Vola turned his brain to mush. It'll take years to reconstruct his Icarite. James, can you get into the suitcase? Okay. Let's see. At least we know where he got the money for that hot rod body. Why is our agent neck deep in this? What's his fucking deal? Hey, I remember that agent. From Rachel's case. James. No, no, listen. If he's the guy hired to do the dirty work with Rachel, then he was up to no good here, too. We really don't have time for this. Right, right, okay. I'll haul ass. I don't think we'll get any more out of the Swiss cheese lounge. Let's move on. You've never been tempted to... No, no, put it down! Yeah, yeah, uh, just asking. way to die. The fire only consumed his flesh. He can always buy more of that. True. To a guy like that, cost of a new body is no worse than paying a parking fine. like clockwork you recognize him John Park the third one in the photo with green the main shareholder of Demer Ugh, fucking Demer ribs completely crushed multiple minor injuries Covered in some kind of flammable shit. What does it look like to you? Something exploded right next to him. Concussive force broke all his bones. Intense heat set him on fire. Shit. The poor bastard really suffered. Yeah, well, suffering's nothing new. Especially for people who eat Demer food. Can you find the source of the explosion? As long as this shit glows under UV light, yeah, I think so. center of the blast was in this lounge.
Time to check on Park's friends. What was... hung? What'd you say? Nothing. Just that we better get a move on. Martin Roy, the owner of the New York Liberation Stadium? Shit. He seemed like a decent guy. You knew him? Nah, not really. He shook my hand a few times in the old life, that's all. A scarf? I saw this pattern somewhere. You know, from the photo? From a speed camera? Uh, it's a scarf. But, yes, indeed. Um, Jane Salma had a similar one. Similar? Identical? Uh-huh. But, uh, it's just a scarf. Besides, there's... there's no sign of Salma's presence? No, not yet. Destroyed? Doesn't look that way. I just can't access it. I see a code on the hand. Will you check it? Expensive bodies don't usually have those. Could have been a recent purchase, maybe? Just hadn't gotten around to removing the serial number yet? Huh. Weird. It's unregistered, but the body was bought by Phalanx for... Holy shit! For four million bucks? Way too pricey for a bodyguard. Sarah, meet Mr. Miller. You think that's the owner of the company? Not only that. Arms dealer, smuggler. Don't bother looking in the system. You won't find anything. This asshole works for the government. Got some documents. I don't believe it. Do people like this always keep secret papers just lying around for anyone to see? Looks like the law on lowering the age of free subscription is just the beginning. What? They want to make it even lower? Mm. And add tons of taxes. I'd say it's a long-term plan. Have they gone fucking insane? They can't do that! Roy was planning the games. Did you read about that? He wanted to distract the crowd. Miller was probably supposed to protect the rich. Someone sure fucked those plans up. Oh, just breaks my heart. I wouldn't say fucked up. Delayed, maybe. But you know sooner or later they'll resurface in new bodies. At least it ought to take them a while. <sighs> right. Well, in any case, the longer the plan takes to get started, the better it'll be for the rest of us. Whoever blew them up may have had a point. You got that right. There's blood. I'll turn on the UV lamp. Kovalev's prints are everywhere. Well, it is his bar. Looks like he spilled a few Bloody Marys, so to speak. Let's follow the trail. The traces lead here. Some unidentified substance. The same one that set Park on fire. Kovalev started walking from this spot. Leading like a 
boss. Even more than that dirt you see. Someone shot him? The chief will probably file a suicide report no matter what. I'll figure out where the shots came from. Got the latest generation? One that picks up the trajectory of bullets? Relax. I'm old-fashioned, but I make exceptions for toys that make my job easier. Attacker shot from the stage. Any thoughts on who did the shooting? Got a dead guy here who'd make a decent suspect. The caliber matches the gun fired. He's great at playing a dead guy. Really in character. Is it him? He shot Kovalev before he got hit himself. DNA. Bodies assigned to a user named Edmund Christo Basmond. Who the fuck is Edmund Christo Basmond? He works for Phalanx. <laughs> Miller's livestock. fired four shots before he fell to the ground. But only one hit Kovalev.
Why was a security guard shooting at Kovalev? Good question. Something provoked him. startled to have such shitty aim. Straight in the Icarite. Whoever tapped him was a fucking excellent shot. So now the question is, who? Exactly. So long, Edmund Christo Basmond. <sighs> How can we connect it all? Ballistics points to Kovalev opening fire on the guests. I'll check around the bar again. Shells, 45 caliber. No shit. That's what I figured. Kovalev used the Tommy gun. Nothing like the classics. Green, then he got to the rest of his gang. Turned against his own. It started with Kovalev. First, he served a cocktail he whipped up himself. He treated the next guest with a hail of bullets. Finally earned a bullet himself from Oscar Wino Edmundo. Kovalev gave as good as he got. In the end, he finished off the crooked UC. It's all just so unnecessary. Necessary or not. In the end, the Neon got him. He got hit hard. We're lucky. You know what they say. Follow the trail of blood. Nobody says that.
was right. Time to break out the UV lamp. We've got a lead. The trail leads to this guy. Another suicide? As far as the Chief's concerned, without a doubt. We've got Kovalev's prints on the handle of the knife. Drinks that had a kick. Who's the knifer? Zikarite's cut. I'll check the blood. Another one of Miller's bodyguards. Seriously, where does he get these guys? Nice display of bravado. I bet he was in the army. You don't get reflexes like that just from a body. It takes training. Years of it. I'd also say he had to use the knife. Because I think by then he'd lost his gun. Kovalev off balance. He dropped something. This is something new. You think he blew himself up? Nah, I doubt it. How much did he have? Following the trail of blood. Again. You know, like they say you're supposed to. Uh, I can't. like this job. Why didn't he blow himself up sooner? Good question. Here, you got hit again.
Kovalev got shot a few times, but he kept going. The reconstruction's complete. Get the safe. Why did he want to blow himself up here? You already have all the data. Open the fucking safe before it all collapses. Roger that. The safe should work again. Is it a real scotch? Are you crazy? Go! The universe has presented us with a gift. We gotta respect the universe. It's a card. There's something on it. But without any data. You're out of time. Take what you have to take and run. Wait, there's something else there. There's no time. See this? Green road to Kovalev. Ah, uh, I see. Now, do you want to be scraped off the pavement? Right. I can think of better ways to spend the evening. Could Green and Kovalev have been working together? And why did the fucking bartender want to blow himself up in this particular place? What was he hoping to accomplish? What the fuck? Sarah, are you there? Who would have thought that the fly that was buzzing over Green's corpse would get stuck on Icarus. Can't find a window to fly out of. And I suppose you're the spider, huh? No, but there's one nearby. Buzz yourself around the ripest corpse. The one you missed. You'll need to be more precise. There are several corpses here. Close to Kovalev. Close enough to take him out with an explosion. Time could be the net the bastard was trying to trap me in. I had to act fast. from the explosion. Why was Kovalev so determined to kill this guy? He almost got away, didn't he? Do you recognize him? Wait a minute. George Boyle, CTC director. From the rotten family that invented the Icarite. His signature was on the documents from the lounge. He and the others found a way to strip the poor of their bodies to pad the pockets of rich assholes. He's just another dead asshole to me. What do you want? You have a unique chance to get justice. Desynchronize him. Buy some time for the poor people. How? This is just his corpse. It's cold. The guy no longer feels anything. Shoot him through his Icarite. He'll suffer in his new body. And more importantly, he won't introduce more body taxes so soon. It will take months, maybe years, before he gets back on his feet. You gave time to people who really need it. <laughs> isn't right. And what is right? Thousands of souls that will go to the memory bank? You can buy them time. Just pull the trigger. Really? 
no guts. Who are cops here to defend? People like Boyle or innocent folks? This is a chance for some justice. Are you on their side? What, they brainwashed you? Come on, pull the trigger. Come on! Fuck you. I'm nobody's puppet. Yes, you are. They own you. You proved it. Ah, uh, James, can you hear me? It's about to go down. We've got to get out. Oh, shit. James, you have to get out of there. I had my not-so-great body on a great hand, and damn was I right. Instead of dead, I was ahead for once, and ready to break the case of the century. Hey, Chief. Did you hear they served scotch with lead at Icarus? I didn't hear anything. Especially not from you. Weren't fucking there. Listen, I grabbed up some evidence. Ties the whole mess to green with a big fat bow. You were supposed to send the green report. That was it. End of list. Fuck. All right. You listen and listen good. Anybody asks, I haven't talked to you since the accident. Chief, come on. Nope. I'm pulling you off the case. Steiner, out. Throw me off the case. There's an old saying, if you can't tell what's going on, it's about money. Steiner's a decent enough guy, but everyone in the city has a price. No doubt about it, this case smells worse than a two-week-old corpse in a storm drain. So many victims. Who's really behind it all? I don't know his name, but I can already tell what kind of man he is. Nothing but a delusional little fuck. Wants to be judge, jury, and executioner all by his lonesome. Buries the needle on crazy. I try to stop thinking about it. Try to back away. Shut it down. For one simple reason. Much as I like the idea of throwing myself into the city's abyss, if I do that, I'll drag other people down with me. And Sarah doesn't deserve that. This city has a disease, something festering, somewhere deep down, underneath the routine of concrete and steel, below the predatory grin of the neon lights an infection has set in. It's like, like everybody started having the same nightmares. Night after night, I know the dream. The one that makes me wake up drenched in sweat, hard about to crack open, scream locked in my throat. When 
And something's chasing me, and there's nowhere to hide, and no matter how fast I go, it's always faster. And I can hear it right behind me. Take away the singing and the shit or break in the middle, and all you got left is your average daytime soap. Old Zed. Man's a classic. True professional. He'll fix any machine you bring him. As long as you're not picky about where the parts come from. One of the most expensive restaurants in the city. Tiniest fucking servings I've ever seen in my life. Pitiful. Check engine again. Just had it in the shop last week. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll take it out of Zed's hide later. All this risk for a fucking piece of plastic. Can't even tell what it's for. Scottish heritage in my hands. Not much in the world makes sense to me anymore. But this, I understand. have come to light, which will bring you live in just a moment, in an exclusive special report. I wonder how Sarah is dealing with it. Hello? Hi, Sarah. You listening to the radio? It's the middle of the night. Are you drinking again? Relax. I'm on autopilot. You or the car? <sighs> Did you hear? Icarus is already in the news. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. They've been trumpeting it all over the media for an hour. Wait till they find out politicians have tried to lower the age of free body subscriptions again. People are gonna lose it. 
Maybe they'll finally get around to doing something about it. Hopefully. I mean, I know we can't get involved, but someone needs to tell them enough is enough. Do you know that I barely saved up for my first subscription? All the money was spent on living. If I had to pay a year earlier, I, I probably wouldn't be here. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thousands of people in the same boat every year. Not everyone makes it. And these fucks want to take away what little chance they have. Everyone has their own motive. Maybe the budget's collapsing or something. Pile of shit, not a budget. People's lives depend on these decisions. They're what decides if you end up in the freezer or not. Pull off. You're young. Oh, fuck off with that bullshit. I really can't understand it. I mean, they knew about the consequences. How can they just make decisions like that between drinks? Like human lives mean nothing. Are there any moral boundaries left? <sighs> Maybe we cross every boundary if we live long enough. Everybody makes a bad choice sooner or later. The kind that leads to another and then another. Nobody stays on the straight and narrow forever. It's bullshit. You don't believe that. Otherwise, the world is meaningless. Well, eternal life sounds beautiful, too. Until you realize you'll be busting ass for minimum wage until the end times, right? You seriously think people are fundamentally evil? Like I said, it's only a matter of time before we cave into it. Especially if time is infinite. <laughs> It isn't just nihilism, it's doom gibberish. But hey, you're entitled to your opinion, whatever it might be. James, can I ask you something personal? Sure, go ahead. Do you believe in life after death? The real one? And I thought I was the drunk one here. Well, apparently in the past, people used to ask stuff like that all the time. Because the average lifespan was less than a hundred years. And now? Can we believe in anything beyond this? Okay. Wait a sec. I'm sure I do. Rachel believes it too. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I... I forgot. I overstepped. Relax. Nothing happened. What if you could choose? The bank or death? Oh, shit. Beth, maybe I'd meet Rachel in a better world. It's, um... It's a beautiful vision. I hope it's true. <laughs> Damn it! <clears throat> Bloody hell! James? James, what's going on? of an E-class shell. Got it from a junkie. Still having synchro issues? Yes. A whole list of shitty side effects. Those damn shivers. You know what's funny? I get the worst shakes in the toilet. Well, that might be where the last guy I like to shoot up. Part of that may be conditioning. Memory imprinted on the shell. When the body gets certain signals, it's trained to react, expecting the drugs. Okay, got it. You were the one who took notes at school. Do you take care of regular synchro tests? Are you taking ambrosia? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's just someone making money from it. James, you're talking bullshit. It's your duty to do that. Thanks for caring. This is my fourth body. I can handle it. What are the weirdest synchro issues you've heard of? I only know cases from police files, and they're not very amusing. I heard about a guy whose senses swapped places. Extreme synesthesia. He heard colors, tasted sounds, 
and reacted to smells like he could physically touch them. I know what synesthesia is. He was doing fine until he died in a garbage truck accident one morning. Whoa, did it hit him? No, he was standing next to it. The smells killed him. Well, as for your issues, how did the last Icarite transfer go? Why do you ask? Well, did it go smoothly, or did you feel something along the way? Apparently, we're unaware during the transfer, but... Damn, I remember the burning and itching all over my body. I thought I was going crazy. Seth, my partner, said something was weighing him down. He also knew a guy who felt like he was falling off of a cliff every time he changed bodies. That's probably nothing unusual. Don't worry about that. Attention! Vehicle in a drift prohibited zone. Hands up! What are you holding? Uh, this? Scottish vitamins, officer. I advise you to cooperate. What's your name? I'm on the job, for fuck's sake. You will be held responsible for making false statements. So tell the fucking truth. What are you doing here? Cleaning up the city. Somebody has to, right? I have his data. James Kara, badge number 984. He's Department of Mortality, but not active in the system. Oh, this guy's full of shit. He's trying to work some kind of angle. One last time. What are you doing here in the middle of the night? You see, I'm drinking because I have a rotten job. Shit. James, there's a bolo from the car from Icarus. Hey, check that out. How'd your vehicle get those marks? Okay, James. I'm no expert, but the universe seems to be telling you to go home. You believe in science? I believe it's 2 a.m. and I'm getting sick of you. Uh, wait. We still have to talk about the investigation. There are a few things that bother me. <sighs> well, keep it short. Green wasn't the suicidal type. Hmm. If you look at the pieces of the puzzle carefully, there's something about everyone that doesn't fit, right? Exactly. I think I know what it is. It's paranoia. You know the saying the sleep of reason produces monsters? Put down the vodka and rest. It'll pass. Beg your pardon. It's not vodka. It's the Scottish heritage. Put the damn booze down. Even more so if it's evidence from Icarus. Ugh, evidence. 
clue at most. Besides, it's all because of that damn body. Ugh, nonsense. Mental problems, along with identity, character, and memory, are written in Icarite. If you don't solve them, you'll transfer this whole mess to the next shell. Change the subject. Oh, please, James, just leave me alone. Shit. Just wanted to talk a little, that's all. 